So now that I've done doing my video of the day of Final Fantasy, um, for some reason my hapog was giving me trouble the last few days in recording it will always crash. I don't know if it's a problem with my software or a problem with my computer. Chances are it's my computer. So now that that's being uploaded, I'm going to do yet another video today of the Gohiba Club Whites. And yes, according to the Habanos website, when I checked, these are certified to be from Cuba. Imagine my surprise. So let's try it. This is what it looks like. Again, similar look to the um, Romeo E. Ulietes I tried later on today, or earlier on today, I should say. So let's load it up. Mm. Significantly more mild than the Romeo E. Ulietes I've tried. Um. It doesn't mean they're not flavorful, it's just it's a very mild flavor, very light body. And I can tell from the video that the cigar cigarilla doesn't seem to be lit properly, but oh well. Um, again, there's an earthy texture to it, more peak, but significantly less pronounced, very, very mild earthiness, very, very mild peak. Not sure if this is going out or not. Um, so there's a slight, um, almost like a caramel candy sweetness to it. Not a cloying sweetness, not like the fake shitty caramel candies you get during Halloween or Christmas or what have you. You know, it tastes like legitimate 100% caramel candy. I'm going to light this up just in case. Someone is phoning me right now and it's a number that's been phoning me for months and I don't know what they want. It's starting to rain now, shit. Again, very light bodied, very smooth. You can inhale this. Yeah, I would recommend you do that. Mm -mm. I know when I gave my roommate one of these, who by the way is not a tobacco smoker, she thoroughly enjoyed these. Yeah, even non-smokers seem to enjoy these. And my roommate, well, not a staunch anti-smoker, she is a bit of a health nut, so there's no way in hell she'd be smoking. Or she'd be smoking anyways. One thing I am noticing is the, um, tip is not getting nearly as loose and as, for lack of a better term, rubbery than the Romeo Illuminators I tried today. They're quite good. Very, very mild to the point of being light. Um, when I, I've had cigarettes with more harshness to it than this. By the way, I quit cigarette smoking, just letting you people know. Mm. 
Hmm. I actually prefer the Romeo e Lietes because they're stronger. I like that bold flavor in a cigar. And this, this is so mild. This is what will be called a first smoke of the day smoke. I like my Maduros, and this is completely the opposite of Maduro. This is very light body, very light flavor, very mild. But the flea flavors that are there are quite pleasant. It's almost too easy smoking. To the point where I keep wondering if I am, if, this, if the cherry has gone out, if the cigar has gone out. It's nice, but I prefer the Romeo Ilietas. And from what I've seen online, at least in Canada anyway, these are about 10 bucks more a pack versus the Romeo Iulietas. And well, if work sends me more of the more Cohiba Cigarillos, there it says Cohiba White, I'm assuming there's different colors. I will gladly try them, but it's not something that I would have been that I'd purchase myself. Keep in mind, I've never had a Cuban cigar before in my life, save until now. I only know of one store in all my life that sells them. That's Victory on King Street in Oshawa. It's by the Tim Hortons. Um, closest intersection I can think of is King and hmm, I think Rosalind King and Ro no King and Ritson that's the closest intersection you go in it's a very small store from what I've seen but I do know that's the only stores I'm aware of that sells authentic Cuban cigars and oh boy are they pricey <laughs> The fact that I'm getting these for free and paid to try them, um, yeah. My job pays pennies, but it does have its perks. Again, I don't know if it's gone out or not. Yeah, it's gone out. Shit. And so is my Zippo. By the way, you shouldn't really use, from what I understand, you shouldn't use Zippos to light your cigars. Come on, Zippo, come on. I just failed to do a fluid yesterday. It's so wick, isn't it? Oh, it's the fact that there's ash in it. I just inhaled and I swear I've had cigarettes so it's more, maybe not more like a team strength, but just more of that raw tobacco umph. I've never smoked a light cigarette, at least by choice, at least, oh, you know, I smoked John Player Special, otherwise known as Black Death, before it got removed from production and that's one of the reasons why I quit smoking. My brand was no longer around. Large as I quit smoking cigarettes, obviously I still smoke tobacco. These are nice, but they're a little too smooth and a little too mild. If you're a if you're first starting out into cigar or even cigarillo smoking, these will be a good starting point because 
they're mild, they're unoffensive, and they're quite pleasant without being cheap. But I like my strong flavors in my whatever it is I drink, whether it be wine, liquor, beer, tobacco, coffee. And this is a little too mild for my own personal taste. You might enjoy them. I am not saying this is a terrible cigarillo. I'm just saying that it's not a cigarillo meant for me. It's meant for the more mild cigar, cigarillo connoisseurs. Hmm. And I know people are probably watching me smoke this being pissed off because I'm smoking incorrectly again. It's been a very long time since I've had a decent cigar or cigarillo for that matter and well yeah I'm getting back into the hobby. I'm essentially brand new at this. I have to relearn what I've forgotten. So anyways, um, for I think 35 to 40 bucks a pack, I think, I don't know, it might be less. Um, Frankly, the cheaper I've seen, I've had cheaper cigarillos that are better than this. And my overall rating will be a, hmm, a little bit too low for the quality of what's the RIP around a 64. Four. So yeah, um, 64 rating, which is probably gonna piss everybody off because how dare I get this low rating to Cohiba. But well, as I said, I like nine more stronger flavored cigars and from what I understand, Cohiba tend to be more mild in general. <coughs> Excuse me. If you like mild cigars or you want to get into tobacco smoking from something other than cigarettes, but you don't want to spend, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars for a single cigar, these would be a good starting point. It's just, I, well, I like my bold flavors. So take care, everybody, and bye.